One of the things you need to know about hand drafting when you first get started is about lines and line types. In this video, we're going to cover three different line types that will get you started with the basics of drafting. They are visible lines, hidden lines, and construction lines. Each of these line types has a different use, and we'll go over those in just a moment. However, before we can really start talking about lines, we need to discuss line precedents. Different lines have different orders of importance, and it's important to know them in order to draw a figure properly. The first and most important line is the visible line. It shows all of the outside edges of an object, and they're represented by thick, dark, black lines. They are made to be seen, they are there to be heard, they are the boss, they're in charge. Again, it's the first one on the list of precedents, and it's the only one that matters when there's anything else underneath. The second type of line that we're going to talk about is a hidden line. Hidden lines show hidden features that you can't see on an object at its current viewing angle, but if you were to turn the object, you'd be able to see the features or things going on behind it. So hidden lines are dotted lines. They're a little bit thinner than visible lines, but they're dotted to show that there's something happening behind the piece, but they're there not to take away the importance of the visible lines. And our final type of line is a construction line. A construction line is very light, very thin, and there to be erased. It's really there to help guide you on where you're going to be setting up your visible and hidden lines. There are other types of lines as well, but construction lines are really the lowest level of precedence out of everything. They are there to be erased. They are there to be used. If you've ever played chess, they're kind of like the pawns. They're there to get killed, but to help set up the strategy for all the other things that are going to happen after that. Now, there are tons of different styles of lines that we'll cover in a future video. But if you can understand these three basic line types, where they're used, how important they are, and what they represent, you'll be in good shape to start any type of drafting. 